If you don't believe in fairy tales or think love's not like the songs, prepare yourself to be well and truly proven wrong. For once upon a time in West Bridgeford there lived a little boy and girl in a taxi on the way to school. Childhood sweethearts playing in the playground, camping. Two parts of the same thing growing up together. She, his loyal fan, come whatever. He, captivated by her beauty, until one day, as a teenager on playground duty, Kevin realised that were it up to him, they'd be together forever. He'd marry her one day. He'd say, I give her all my love. That's what I do. And if you saw my love, you'd love her too. I love her. However, the course of true love never did run smooth, and as is traditional in fairy tale, the rose is temporarily pale, and the handsome prince must face the disaster of losing his love between Derrymount School and South Knotts College near Asda. Now love was not an easy game to play. For years his love was far away, or oh, how he longed for yesterday. Years passed. Love lost until a picture in the Evening Post that's Jackie, Jackie Mayers. And Kevin made the decision to hack his way through the shrubbery of the landscape gardens in the vicinity of Greythorn Drive, the long and winding road that would lead him to a door. But she didn't live there anymore, so redirected by Mary, he made his weary way to Cropston Close. Unexpected by the host, but invited inside, arms open wide, reunited at last. And not a moment too soon, poor Jackie was sad and confused, dealing with her feelings around dear old Douglas. She recalls, Kevin was my rock. He picked me up off the floor. And though I know I'll never lose affection for people and things that went before, I know I'll often stop and think about them in my life. I love you more, but let's take things slowly. Are you really, really sure you want to marry me? Are you Are really, really sure? <laughs> to which Kevin implored, oh, please say to me, you'll let me be your man. And please say to me, you'll let me hold your hand. I want to hold your hand. I want to hold your hand. Well, time to inform the mother-in-law, doubtless to confirm her suspicion, but in a break from tradition, far from being the dragon that the knight must slay, Mary was happy to pave the way. Hello, you two. Kevin, you can have a cup of tea if you go and get some milk. But she wasn't being rude. This was clever subterfuge, and while Kevin was off purchasing provisions, Jackie outlined their intentions to tie the knot. Well, Mary summed it up right on the spot. Congratulations. You'll never find another Kevin in this world. A truer statement never stated. And how wonderful that in a world that can be complicated, Mary understands what's going off. Well, now everybody's happy. What a jolly good show. Because if he's the right man for you, your mother should know. Fast forward to Christmas Day at Joe and Dave's when the official proposition came and Kevin got down on one knee and uttered, will you marry me? When Jackie, eager to agree, answered not one time but three. Signed and sealed, the proof was there. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, for Jackie this moment is just like Greece when Danny and Sandy get together on the beach. For Kevin, it shows that patience pays. All his dreams have come true from his childhood days. And here we are to lend support and pledge that in all deed and thought we will help them work towards a happy end. And absent friends are smiling down, waving from their happy cloud over the moon. So time for a drink and not a moment too soon, because this story is worthy of a toast with a lesson to remember most and moral clear for all to see that alongside friends, and family, all you need is love. I wish you were here.